So much switzing, 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 no, oh, whatever. Ah, la, la, whatever, whatever. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Hold on. I can fix things. Play subtitles, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. <clears throat> Thank you. This is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure some things are in order. Hold on. Some more fixing. I guess that's all the fixing I can do. Well, to be fair, it's an older game, so... Yeah, restore this... Are you for real? <laughs> Just turn full screen on. Why don't you? Mm-hmm. Fine, sure. Sure, buddy. Okay, this is better. This is 100% better. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha ha! And the moment I tapped out, the music is gone. Wow! Well, not to worry, not to worry. I hide these babies real quick and then I just do... Come on! Come on! Show me! Show me. Show me. <sighs> Whatever. Show me. Then let's do, do it this. My god. <laughs> it's too hot for this shit. I'm tired as well. So, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I think we can work with that. Okay, that should be enough. That should be okay, I think. All right! Here we are! Party people! Not what I wanted. Anyway, how's it going? Stuff happens, yeah. Especially when it's a game that's uh, a, a few years old already, like this one. Old, but definitely gold. We play The Wolf Among Us, season one by Telltale Games. And why? First off, it's a this is, well, in my humble opinion, the best, one of the best, if not the best, that Telltale had to offer. And I even think it's better than first season of Walking Dead. There, I said it. I think that's that good. It's such an engaging, amazing story and... Mm, actually makes me want to read the fable comics that it's based off on. Hold on. So, okay, and yeah. Second reason, I did notice that a very huge, huge amount of people started to play this game. That they decided to pick this up 
And I think it's because of the reason that um, season two is gonna be announced very, very soon. Well, not announced, it has already been announced years. And then Telltale went bankrupt, and then uh, other stuff happened, and they picked up the uh, game again, they have <laughs> revived basically, and um, yeah, after a lot of delay, we're gonna have season 2 very soon, hopefully, either this year or next year. I can't really tell you, there hasn't been any, uh, any date announced yet, just that it has been delayed uh, for 2024, which is this year we're in right now, so yeah. So what better time, what better place to pick season one again and refresh some of the knowledge we had in what is going on, what are the characters, what is the status by the end in which we go into season two. And the best thing about this, um, even though it is based off the Fable comic uh, series by uh, Warner Bros, um, you do no not have to need to have knowledge about um, anything that has happened in the comics because this and season two are prequels. This all happens before the events of the comics. So establishing uh, relationships, the characters that they grow to be uh, in, <laughs> in the comics. So yeah. Um, I think I explained it well enough. Otherwise, there is something... Mm, I don't know where exactly it is. Well, not in the settings, at least. But here, uh, in the extras, there's an archive for... Um, uh, that we can... for files that we can gather by playing this game. Uh, so we can read a, a little bit about, more about uh, um, some of their backstories and mine. They, they are all um, fairy tale characters, but there are some fairy tales, myths and legends that nobody knows about. So it's nice to have a little bit of knowledge about that. So I do attempt to read at least these I do want to get. Uh, and another thing I want to add is I already played this game once, so it is not completely blind for me. So if you want uh, certain reactions like oh, they did not do that, uh, uh, I am not blind to this anymore. I'm sorry for that, but I do want to do some things different than me and other players did um, that I uh, realized over the uh, course of the gameplays I did see uh, in recent days um, where I'm like huh nobody played this route so I want to see what happens if I do, do pick this route so, I am a little bit curious then if there's, there are going to be changes then, well, minimal changes, keep in mind this is a Telltale game, even though it says your actions decide the outcome of the story, mm, only minor things are changed not the overall story. But still a great story, uh, pfft, nonetheless, so I do not care. Yeah. 
Yeah, for whatever reason. Um, no, no, no. Change. If for whatever reason, there is already a save. But... Mm, this is the first time on this new PC that I ever played it, so it doesn't make sense to me, honestly. But, eh, whatever. What? What the hell ever? But we, we're gonna start from the beginning. Episode 1, Phase. Well, are we ready? Change save file. Fine. Here. How about this? Boom. Thank you. The choice you made, so is tailored by how you play. Which is a lie! Once upon a time in New York City, there lived a community of fairy tale characters known as Fable Town. The fables who lived there arrived hundreds of years ago after they were exiled from their homelands. Through the use of a magic spell called Glamour, they have protected their secret community from the mundane world. Sheriff Bigby Wolf protects them from each other. A.K.A. the Big Bad Wolf. Today again, if you missed it, a record for the date. Hottest ever in June, uh, 103 now, and that humidity looks low. But remember, the hotter the air is, the more moisture it can hold. So 103 with 31% humidity is a lot more humid than, say, 73 with 31% humidity. And it is muggy out there. Do I have to say, I really, really love the aesthetic of this game. It looks so... Oh. It's amazing! I love this! And I also love the soundtrack, like... You always get me with old-style synthy pop Here we are! My man! My hairy man! Mr. Toad? Oh, shit! <laughs> Big B! Listen, mate, I, I know I don't look human. It's a problem, I'll get it. I just stepped out the apartment for just a second to see what kind of damage this drunk shit is doing. Uh huh. Just cut me a break, yeah? I'll get me glamour first thing in the morning. Cross my arm. No need to kick up a fuss. I'm looking at a three foot toad <laughs> in a sweater. That's yeah. a problem. Yeah. You can't afford to look human. You're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. You can't send me up to live with those animals. Then do something about it! You know what I mean? Go see a witch. Get a glamour. Big B, they're bleeding me dry, mate. The quality of the spell goes down, but the rates keep climbing up. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? <sighs> I don't make the rules. Sorry. I can't give you a free pass on this, Toad. My hands are tied. Right, right. There's too much at stake. Whatever it costs, it's worth it. You don't want me catching you out of glamour again. Yeah, last warning, Toad. See? This is what I told you about, Sheriff. You're just gonna stand there, do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Hey! Oh, thanks for that, Big B. You're a real gentleman. I didn't do shit! This is the last straw, Big B. He has to go. You cannot tell me that the timer. Fine. I'm heading up. Get your glamour. Okay. <laughs> 
furry prick go shite. Tell me how to spend it. Yes, kill me a furry! Dad, the lights are shaking again. What did I say? You want a big bad wolf to take you away? No. Then get that fuck back inside! Don't talk to your kid like that. I have a soft spot to TJ. I already say that. Maybe because uh, he's voiced by the same voice actor as Clementine from Walking Dead. And I love Clementine! Protect this girl at all costs. Okay, some matches. Cool. Take a look. Take a good look. Know who I am now? Hey, look at me. How about no? No. God damn you! No way! Hey! Whoa, 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 hey, hey! 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 You got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid? Ooh! Oh! I'll fucking kill you! All right, what's going on? Here? Hey! What's your problem, man? What are you gonna fucking do, huh? What are you doing? Get the fuck out of the way before you get the axe again. You're drunk, all right? Think this through. If you keep on like this, I won't have any choice but to put you down. Put me down? You got a shit fucking memory, Wolf. That's not how it went last time. <laughs> this isn't last time. Oh. You gotta calm down. Oh. Yeah! Get in there! Get in A fucking challenge. Oh yeah, sure, buddy. Here. Mm. Oh, into the throat. Mm. I'm gonna kick you. No, I push you into this. Back off, asshole. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna break your leg. Oh, I'm gonna break your head. That's what you deserve, bitch. I gave you what a fuck. Fair warning! Go fuck yourself. Ow! Oh, cute. A toaster. That's all? Mm. Punch! And crunch! Want another one? Another one! Oh, you're not. <laughs> My ex. Fuck off. My God. You should probably get out of here. Look. I'm not leaving until I get what's mine. You're not getting shit, bitch. I'll fucking put you on the ground. You hear me? Shut up. Yeah, shut the fuck up already. Oh, me. Fucking shit. Um, hold on. I just realized something. Um, something I could maybe, 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 maybe work out. Hmm. Maybe it works, or maybe I make a fool out of myself, who knows, but I hope it works. We're gonna see, we're gonna see how it works out. How it works out. Maybe it work. Maybe not. Resume the game, please. Oh my god, you bastard! And still you talk. <laughs> Fuck you. Shit. 
What the hell is going on? What happened? Hold on. I could have done this also. Uh, whatever. Uh, whoops. Not what I wanted. Mm, fixing things. All, all in the works. Okay. Ha! I'm a fucking genius! Now that's better now, is it? Okay, go on. A little misunderstanding that turned into a real shit show. Don't worry, you saw the best bits. There's more where that came from, girly. Knock it off! <sighs> Shut the fuck up already, your jaw Look, is broken enough. This is just the start of a shitty night for me. I just need the money he owes me, then I can go. Are you alright? I'm hunky-dory. Thanks for asking. Hunky-dory. Um... What's your name? Whatever you'd like it to be, handsome. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Please. Sorry, Sheriff. Wouldn't want to add any difficulty to your night. Why was he hitting you? He asked me if I recognized him, knew who he was. I said I didn't. He started beating on me. Then you showed up, started beating on him. That about cover it, hon? I'm the woodsman, you whore. I saved Little Red Riding Hood from this monster. I cut this fucker open and filled his belly full of stones and threw him in the fucking river. That's who the fuck I am, you stupid bitch! Uh, would you excuse me for a moment? By all means. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, brother. <laughs> I mean, I had to be a gentleman. Oof. Ah, oh, shit. Oh. <clears throat> hey, Toad. My car. Yeah. <clears throat> Give me a second. Oh, no, by all means. Take your time. Make yourself comfortable. Uh, so, uh, hi, Static. Your insurance. I'll be mad at you. I called you. When you come to help, I can't be mad. <laughs> kind of pity for that toad is there. Ugh. Well, at least you will not have to take time. Fight you during this music, really? Yeah, get him, get him, get him! Put your finger out! That's my finger, you whore! Come on out, you fucking dog! I'll put you out of your misery! Oh, shut the fuck <laughs> Never mind. That works. Thanks, girl. Hi. <laughs> He's still crawling. <laughs> uh, I love this game. Thanks. Don't mention it. <laughs> I'm just getting what he owes me. You all right back there? I mean, your eyes and the teeth? You're not really supposed to do that, are you? Not if I can avoid it. <laughs> Great. The guy's got an axe in his brain. He's not feeling that. It's more from me. He'll be fine. I'll tell you. Let me help you. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? It's been a bad day. That makes two of us. Yeah, just. I guess it's a good thing fables are hard to kill. Suppose it is. Exactly. We don't need to worry about them. Hmm. 
Lips are sealed. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, you like my ribbon? Um, beautiful. Thank you. Feel like we've met before. We probably have. We all sort of knew each other at one point or another. But things change, I guess. Mm. I guess. Yeah, this is not a happy go lucky fairy tale world anymore. Shit. Well, fairy tales aren't exactly. Stop. We don't have Innocent. to make any more of a thing out of it than it already is. Are you sure? Uh, he's had enough. For tonight, at least. Wouldn't be surprised if he has an axe to grind, though. <laughs> Whatever you say. That wasn't intentional. Sorry. <laughs> nice. You tried to risk me? How much was the owed you? A hundred. I'm guessing it'd be bad for you to show up empty handed. I'll be fine. Let's see, I've got, uh, it's 20, 40, 7, 8, 58. It's all I got. Uh, it'll help, right? Take it. It's okay. I'll be fine. You've done enough, really. Nah. Just take the money. Take it! Okay. You got me out of a bad situation back there. Thanks. I'm still gonna need a statement. I have to go drop off what I have. Meet me back at my office, then. It's a little late for an office visit, Sheriff. I'll swing by your apartment. How do you know where I You live in the smallest apartment in the woodlands. Everyone knows that. Good to know. Well, bye bye privacy! You look like shit. And I don't use that term lightly. Some of these look pretty bad. I clean up okay. I'll believe it when I see it. <laughs> oh, I will. Trust me. Hey. I need to tell you something. What is it? Oh? You're not as bad as everyone says you are. I'll see you around, Wolf. Bye bye, hot lady. Nothing else to do here anymore. Yeah, light us this bad boy and go to one of the greatest intros.
Episode 1, Faith. Alright then! Now the real game starts. Well, if it wasn't already the real game. Yeah. Apartment. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. <laughs> yeah, it's not that luxurious. Not really. Sometimes be a disciplinarian. <laughs> okay. It's time for the Let's Do Snow Show! Who, who's there? Thanks! There's no walking on the grass, no white's orders. She made a sign and everything. I'll be sure to send her an apology. Beauty. Hello, Hi, beauty. beauty. I wasn't expecting anyone. Uh. I know this looks a little odd, but there's an explanation. You're out pretty late. Is there some sort of curfew I don't know about? What's with a third degree? Damn it, I'm late. Um. Please, Bigby. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Time for work now. Okay. Have a nice work day, Rio, and thanks for stopping by. It's Catch you later. Mm -hmm. thinking. And you, bye bye, beauty. Whatever the hell you're doing. Just being a little sus, you know? But whatever, whatever, I don't care so much. Hey, you wink? <laughs> Crumble. Probably for the best. <laughs> Oh, but Grimble. Grimble, Grimble, when are you not asleep? My catcher needs to dust this guy. And he keeps sleeping. Do you have an iPod or stream elements? Because if so, I can have it set to automatic block links in chat. Well, I do have. Um, and I actually thought I did this already. Hmm. Maybe I have to take another look at it at some point. Seventh day in a row. Nah, brother. <laughs> Okay, buddy. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> no! Something fell off again. <laughs> well, damn. Damn thing fell off again. Well, don't you wanna... Well, I was about to say. It was the bean-flavored ice cream. My bad. Again. Is this gonna go on? Don't you have another excuse, my guy? Try other flavors for for once. 
There are so many good flavors in in the world. Well, let's go inside. <gasps> Bigby, hey, wait up. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Hi, Beast, you're a hunk. Uh... So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. I did say I stay out of it. <laughs> Mood. <laughs> Should have cracked a window. Huh. Well, I can relate that it is when it is stuffy in the apartment. With a heat wave going on right now. And wasn't there supposed to be rain today? Huh? See, don't see shit of this. Hmm. Why do I even own this? Should have got a smaller one. Damn it. Fucking bacon. Got a smoke? <laughs> All right, give the pick a smoke. Baked barbecue. Thanks. <laughs> Smoke Couple barbecue. thousand more of these, we'll be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Bigby. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Don't be a pain in the ass. I'll tell you what I told Toad. And what's that? I can't give you a free pass. Lectured by the big bad wolf. He must have loved that. 
That for me? Nope. <laughs> no. The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... <laughs> it would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. If that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. It wasn't... Okay, I'm back. Apparently I'm back again. Jesus Christ, what happened? <sighs> Sheesh. We are still here, right? If you say, if you say still there, then give me a yes. Of all times, really? Now my mom calls me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. <sighs> ah, dick shit, whatever. She has to wait now. We're still here? Please. Well, apparently I'm live again. I just hope. Hold on. <clears throat> uh, I just continue. YOLO! But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. Who'd not you get my fight fault. With? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. <laughs> Wasn't I get me. the impression you say that a lot. Well, it's true! He started it! You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Not everyone. Not anyone. Name one. I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Listen! Stop being so judgy. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, <laughs> if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. <sighs> Here, now please shut the fuck up, you walking, smoking bacon. Thanks, Big B. Yeah. Yeah. Ayo. Oh, 
Okay! Alright, alright, I'm already here. Big B! Snow? Come with me. Um. Okay. Snow. Snow! What? Sorry, I'm. What is it? What happened? I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Don't look at me like These that. Walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside. All right. Ladies first. Snow White. Screenshots before disaster. Drink water, you dehydrated bitch. She's not a Mundy, right? Who was she? I thought I knew everyone in Fable Town. A working girl? A working girl? The timing, uh-huh. I mean, I'm a working... Oh. Get the hint, please. The woodsman. He attacked her and I stepped in. And he threatened to kill us both. No. You don't think he... I don't think anything yet. Just give me a second. It's just... <sighs> terrible. It took me a second to realize what I was even looking at. So, who found her? I did. She was just like this. I didn't touch her. I grabbed Grimble's jacket to cover her with. Then, I came to get you right away. I see. No one else was with you? No. Big P, did one of us do this? There hasn't been a murder in Fable Town in a long time. All the more reason we shouldn't start a panic before we know what's going on. Um. Have a look around. We don't have much time before people will be coming through here. could do something like that. That's what I I'm just asked. Very sharp. Or something with magic attached to it. How about both? Could also be a possibility. What is <laughs> It's her ribbon. There's some kind of symbol here. Huh. I I don't recognize it. Neither do I. She was placed here with some care. What do you mean? You can see that someone didn't just toss her here. She was deliberately placed for us to find. What kind of monster would do this? Someone without a heart. Apparently. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry. This is just so surreal. Take your time. <sighs> um, what, what do you want to do next? 
We still have some time. I should keep investigating the area. Okay, good idea. Yeah. If we leave now, we don't know what of what clues we might miss. The basis of all detective work. Blood. Drops of blood. I'd say it's been here an hour, maybe. <laughs> How funny would it have been if he now have licked it? Like Connor in Detroit. <laughs> but nah, he just sniffing it like the dog he is. Hold on. I just saw it. Um, hello? Okay, fine. Just, just some loose trash. <laughs> I was about to say, just some garbage. Blood. Still wet. Sharp enough. Yep, more blood. Someone might have hopped the fence, got caught, then left the trail I found earlier. Mm. And then caught up, basically. Maybe. Aha! Fabric. Looks like jeans. Doesn't tell me much. Yeah, Dick's caught up in the fence. Hey, Snow. You alright? Yes. Thanks. But you should hurry. We don't have much time left. We should head back inside soon. Okay. What are you doing? Better to be thorough. Sure, just hurry up. We don't have much time. Did I scare you? I was trying to scare you. What? With you Dick's Dick jump scare? Wow. <laughs> we'll find out more at the business office. She'll be in the books. I'm sure of it. Big P, do you have any idea what's going on? Mm. How did this happen? Why her? This is a message. A message? I don't know, Big P. I get complaints at the office all the time, but just what about this makes you think that? Whoever did this isn't exactly hiding it. The placement of the head, it's exact, purposeful. She was placed here precisely for us to find. All of us. Well, yes. I guess you're right. The killer wanted us to know what they had done. I'm gonna have to tell Crane about this. Ugh. As long as King Cole is gone, he's acting mayor. He needs to know. And he's going to find out anyway, so we may as well get out in front of it. It'll just be worse if he finds out we held it from him. I know you don't like him, but he's our boss. This is part of the job. Ugh, I guess it's useless to drag it out. That's how I feel too. I'm sure he won't be happy, but it's just part of the process. Hopefully he can be rational about it. I wouldn't hold my breath. <laughs> I'm not. Um, I just don't want to uh, Crane's not what's important right now. We need to figure out who this girl was so we can find whoever did this. Mm -hmm. Take this back to Dr. Swinehart. He can take a look at it. I'll meet you at the business office. Sorry, girl. What are you blind? Why, you don't see there's a line? I've been standing here a half hour already. You get to just walk in? Must be nice being the sheriff. Do whatever the fuck you like. I work here. And what great work you do, sheriff. Hmm. That didn't feel very genuine. Fucker. F 
Fuck you too, man. Because you are the one bringing this to me, Miss Snow. The one who so oh, simply stumbled upon guy. this catastrophe on our very doorstep. The last thing I need with Mayor Cole away is a hysteria. Do you understand me? Yes, of course I Don't do. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow. You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. I brought you this news as soon as I could. You are trusted to keep things running smoothly around here. This is a disaster. It isn't anyone's fault. Instead of trying to assign blame, maybe we should figure out how to catch the fucker who did this. Oh, is that how you see things? Sheriff, you are the one charged with protecting the citizens of Fable Town. Your failure to do so cost someone their life and the safety of the entire community. Tell me you've been doing something. Are there any leads? Suspects? Anything. Anything at all. Any shred of evidence you two know what the hell you're doing. Because right now, I have half a mind to fire the both of you. Yeah, her pimp. Her... was she a... Yeah, she was worried about a money situation. Well, this is just wonderful. Not only is a fable killed, but it was a fable hooker to boot. You two need to get a handle on this situation quickly. What does it and matter? She was still a citizen. A Come a on, tool. just because she was. No. Um, oh my God, you infuriate Hold me already. Hold right this minute and let her know I'm coming in early for my massage. I will. Where is the bottle of wine you were to purchase? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't Forget it. Do your job, Sheriff, or we'll find someone who can. You would have just pissed him off more. All right. Well, that could have gone better. Well, maybe we should have dragged it out. For what it's worth, I still think it was better to tell him. Yeah, maybe. Mm. Oh, Crane doesn't like people smoking and... Never mind. <laughs> Who gets a massage this early? Crane. It doesn't really matter the time of day. A mere scent of stress, and he's out the door. Ugh. Imagine. Is, is he gone? Yes, thankfully. A monkey! Look at the monkey! Buffkin! Hello, Miss Snow. Drinking? <laughs> this early? Where did you get that? It was by Mr. Rickabod's desk. Kalosi, hi, hi welcome to the stream. We play among both among us. Maybe. <laughs> A poor girl got killed. And we're investigating now. How are you today, Mr. Bigby? I'm fine. Fine, Buffkin. Thanks for asking. Aww, I like him. Cute Which monkey? Ones? The ones with all the fables in it. I'm not sure that was any more specific. How are you? Um, I'm fine, actually. I'm just melting from the heat. But I put the tower fan in, the, in my direction, so it's a little bit easier. We'll at least be able to get her real name from the books whenever Buff can find them. In the meantime, poke around. Maybe the mirror can help. I really have to get this appointment squared away, but let me know if you need anything. <sighs> Hello, Vivian? Hi, this is Snow White. Magic lamps are pretty much just lamps after the genie's been freed. Time to stream while in the deep freezer. Oh, wish I could. <laughs> I wish I could. Worth a try. And half a fan. I feel so sorry for you. No, generally, I I am sorry for. Uh, I wish I could help. <laughs> yeah, you need to shave, or that, don't shave. Matter. Leave it as question. it is. You know. You know the rule. I don't have time for this shit. Your impatience is callow. You're needlessly cruel. But have some respect for our history and rules. <laughs> mirror, mirror. Uh, if you're able. 
Tell me all about this fable. See? Was that so hard? Yeah, I'm about two seconds away from kicking a hole in you. <laughs> no need for that. Fine. Of which fable do you wish to know? <laughs> um. Show me the woodsman. Show me the woodsman. Where is he? What you see is complete. The woodsman stumbles down a street. No shit. Which street? I'm sorry, Bigby. I can only show you what can be seen. Um... Okay? Show me Buffkin. Hey! Put down the bottle and get to work! <laughs> Still looking! <laughs> I really had to check on them. Wow. Show me Snow White. Aww. Not much of a request. She's in this very room. I mean, she is a beautiful lady, so need to appreciate it. Nobody right now. Very well. Please return should you wish to ask about someone else. Or someone new. Bye bye. Well, I'm sure we'll get it all cleared up. Okay. Thank you. Then let's see what the books have in store for us. We'll start with these. Any information on fables in our community will be somewhere in these books. Mm hmm. Okay, from. <laughs> Looking good. So fluffy. Um. And him. The woodsman? Yep. And his axe. Trusty axe. And the two of them. <laughs> I wonder what the story was. Uh, Little Red Riding Hood. You're getting warmer. But that's me. <laughs> yeah, dwarves. The less said about that, the better. This is, yeah, kind of look a little sussy there, I'm not gonna lie. Beauty and happier days. And her man, Beast. Funny. <laughs> Colin and his brothers. <laughs> yeah, the three little peaks. Ichabod Crane. Scared shitless. <laughs> Your boss. His finest moment. <laughs> Hard to understand how he ended up running this place. <laughs> well, maybe it's time that changed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wonder... Wonder if there's um, in season two or in the comics we actually see the headless horseman. I mean, that would be interesting. Nice hat. <laughs> Toad. I haven't seen Badger around for a while. He likes his privacy, I think. I wish Toad would like his a bit more. <laughs> seen this before. This symbol on the man's clothes, it's the same as the rings. Could be her father, or husband. This has most of the emblems of the old days, and usually what family they come from. If it's in here, we'll have her name. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go. Let's check this out. Ah, great. 
What? I can't read any of this shit. <laughs> I can help. Yeah, please help me. Yeah, thanks. We look out for each other. Don't overdo it. What's that? It reads, Mark of the House of the Frog Prince. Not quite who I'm looking for. Ah, the Frog Prince. This looks familiar. Yes, from the Acts of the Woodsman, a druid blessing, actually. Someone blessed that thing. <laughs> I only translate. Hmm, a blessing. What's it say about that? It says, Brickle Bit in an older elfish hat. What's brickle bit? My magic word. What's it do? Makes animal shit gold. <laughs> ah! Oh my god, this story! Yes, I remember, yeah. Um I actually don't know how the story um what the name of the story is uh, in English translation, but in uh, German it's called Tischlein Deck dich, which means um table decorate yourself or something like that, yeah. Uh, the story of three brothers getting special things along their journeys. One gets a table that's decorating themselves with uh, all sorts of food. And here the donkey that shits gold. Funny story. Bufkin, translate. Hmm, an exquisite design from the... Good China of Toad Hall. Mr. Toad? He probably wrote this in himself. <laughs> Full of yourself, aren't you? This is the one. Where is this symbol from? Which family or story? That's an odd one. Family name? Alerlairau? I'll go look it up. Alerlairau. That means every kind of fur in German. Donkey skin. Yes. What does it say? <sighs> donkey skin girl, also known as donkey skin, also known as <laughs> ass skin, <laughs> uh, prefers to go by the name Faith. Poetic? Buffkin, we don't need the commentary. Uh huh. The story of donkey skin. There was once a great king with a beautiful queen. The queen grew ill and had her husband promise to only marry the most beautiful girl in the kingdom. After a long search, it became clear that the only woman in the land that could match her beauty was... Uh, his daughter, Faith. She had a magic cloak made from the skin of her father's prized donkey that would hide her beauty so she could escape his kingdom. Eventually, she married a prince who could see past the magic cloak and knew her true beauty. And they lived happily ever after. Should I mark it, Miss Snow? Yes. Please. Fairy tales! They were all actually fucked up! Yay! And what's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. We got what we came for. Yeah. Her name's Faith. She was married to Prince Lawrence. I mean, that's more than her we... Her name was Faith. Yeah. We should talk to the husband. You think he did it? Hmm. Nothing would surprise me at this point. We can't rule him out. Yeah. Everybody's a suspect! <sighs> oh well. Well, at least we got a name. Mirror, mirror, blah, blah, able, blah, blah, blah about this fable. Of which fable do you wish to know? Um, faith. Show me... Show me faith. Through powerful magic, her whereabouts concealed. Unfortunately for you, these lips are sealed. These lips are sealed. It's not my choice of phrasing, Bigby. It's simply the way this has to be. Hmm. Foreshadowing? 
Much. Show me Faith's father, the old king. Well, guess that crosses him off the suspect list. Well, he's a prince, I think. Show me Prince Lawrence. What's he been doing? Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. Mm-hmm. Sure. Let's go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah. That'll have to do for now. Come on. We're going over there. Let's go. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Bigby, it's me, Hello. You there? Um... What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right, there's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Yeah, let's leave. Time to make a, a decision. Oh shit. Here, Here we, we go, go again. again. Yeah, exactly. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? I don't know, it's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help too. Um. Well, where to first? Yeah, that was blood. Big, big shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. So, the first decision. Where do we go first? Toad's or Lawrence's? Well, me and my very first playthrough ever, years ago, I actually, along with a lot of people went to Toads first. So, I actually wanna see what happens when you go to Lawrence's first. So I'm sorry, Static, but I go with this one first. We need to tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough... Toad. <laughs> Probably handle himself for a few hours. We'll have to. Toad is a tough toad. Uh huh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, he's farting. I don't want to stay here any longer than we have to, so let's just pick an approach and stick to it, okay? All right. Just humor me. This is a murder investigation, Snow. Things aren't that simple. If we try and do everything at once all the time, some things are going to slip through the cracks. Just leave it to me, all right? Let's see what happens when we get inside. All right. Well, good. She's trusting me. That's at least something. Well then, are you coming, woman? Anybody home? Lawrence, you in there? Hey, open up. It's Bigby. I need to talk to you. Open the go the door. Mm -hmm. Open the door. Open the door, man. Ah. <sighs> So, a different approach is needed here. Okay, 
Is there something? No. There's nothing on my mouse. FBI, open up! <laughs> yeah, exactly that. It's me! The... Um. Hey. Hello? Hey. Um. All right. We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Whoop! Come on, help me up. Need a hand, milady? figure out what the hell is going on here who would do this to them I don't know snow well rip I'd say Turn it on again, so fingerprints. They'll be on the grip and the trigger. Well, there's a bullet. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. Okay. Shot was fired. All right. Nothing in there. Bullet passed through the chair. Snow, could you uh, stand over there? Point towards Lawrence, as if you're the shooter. This is... feels strange. Nah, something's not right. What are you thinking? Mm -mm. Slug should have gone over there, right behind him. Mm -mm. Not here. Mm -mm. Right. So the shooter stood somewhere else. Maybe. Or we don't have the whole story. Well, the more we know... Ugh. When do you think that was taken? Before all this. Ed uh, really? Still a little sticky. Ew. Emotional damage. <laughs> exactly. It's emotional. Mirror showed me this. It's sharp. And there's blood on the blade. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? If not, um... Dusty. No one's read these in a while. 
He's ever observant that he is. Uh, Pedro sent next week. Pizza in the fridge. Please don't look for me. Goodbye. Oh, jeez. <laughs> ah, just some water. A knife shop. Who would have known? Yeah, I mean, it could have been a dull knife. It could have been. Nothing's impossible. Son of a... Start to the bed a little. My dearest Faith, I never meant to hurt you, and I cannot endure knowing that I have. This was for the best. I'll see you again. Love, your devoted Lawrence. I should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh! oh my God, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh, Sit down, man. What are you doing here? What's going on? We found you here, in your chair, with what we thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart, have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. Wait, huh? You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? What's this about? What happened? I don't know. I... Oh, shit. I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. Uh, uh, better luck next time Please. or... Right up. No, Please. don't do it! Get out. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was. <laughs> I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. Just fucking go away. Uh, I'm sorry. Life is missing. What? Oh, no. 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 No, no, no. I knew this would happen. Fuck, Georgie. Huh? Lawrence, I, uh... Excuse me? Emotional damage! Are you expecting anyone? That is emotional damage indeed! Oh my! Mui! We need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, Bigby will arrest them. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Think about your wife. Give me back the gun. Just...
just in case. Don't do anything stupid. I feel like this is a bad idea to give him the gun. He's already... You know! Oh shit, here we go again. Look at this fat fuck. Oh, he's cleaning up for me, that's good. <laughs> at least something. Of a bitch, make me run after you. No, really. Then tell me. Why <laughs> did you run? <clears throat> what? Why did you run? Fuck, man. Because you chased after me. The fuck was I supposed to do? Stay here. Explain everything, you dickhead. You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down... leads. What kind of leads? Oh, I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. Oh, really? Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for you no, to... No, I'm D. He's dumb. <gasps> you almost looked peaceful. Yep. <sighs> You're mocking Except me. You're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you and the other one finished kicking you. That explains the ribs. <laughs> then they jumped into a car and drove off. Mm. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. Is Lawrence okay, though? Is he okay, though? And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah. Looks worse than the day. 
I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. Oh, my baby! My is, baby! That is son. Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Well, Toad can fuck himself, but his son! Hey, Toad, you in there? Soft spot! <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. So, you know, false alarm. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. We heard someone crying. Oh, the boy stubbed his toe on the bed frame is all. It stings, you know, but it's nothing to kick up a fuss about. A little tub swim, he'll be right as rain, I'm sure. Uh-huh. Is your son in there? Oh, he's fine, Miss White. Just stung his little toe. Better swimmer than Walker, just like his dad. Wanna? So, I guess you'll be taking off now. No need to hang around here anymore. I mean, I'm sorry you came all the way here for nothing. But it was nothing, really. Uh... Someone was here, and something's going on. Just so this trip wasn't a complete waste of time, I'm gonna look around a bit before we leave, okay? The longer you talk, the longer this takes. So just stand over there and shut up. All right, all right. I just don't want to waste your time, is all. Now have a seat. Have a cup of tea. Whatever you like. TJ? Are you all right? There you are. I don't mean to intrude, but Flycatcher said you had a pretty awesome insect collection, and I was wondering if you could perhaps let me see it? It has a weevil. Oh. <laughs> I love him so much! Just mind the My son! Looking for nothing. Yeah, sure thing. Ooh. How'd this happen? Fucking hell. Damn thing must have fell off the table. Uh-huh. The lamp just fell off the table. Well, the boy was faffing about, <laughs> playing salts and saltfish. Who knows with the lad? <laughs> ha! Huh. All right. Your lock's busted too. This place is falling apart. Eh? The lock. It looks like somebody kicked in the door. Oh, for Christ's sake, the fucking lock's been busted for weeks, mate. Right, it's just like everything else in this bloody building. Why don't you get it fixed? Aren't you the landlord in this? Kind of sounds like you're the landlord. Or are you just, um... <sighs> Whatever. Well, it's just some wood rot. Not mold or anything. Bleeding? Why? Is that it's blood? Still fresh? Mm -hmm. oh, well, I cut me end. <laughs> Ran around like a tit trying to pick out a wrap. Must have got some on the furnishments. Sounds painful. Oi! Don't you go mother ending now. The wound didn't sit very long, you know. Perks have been a fable, I suppose. <laughs> and a frog. Yeah, likely story, sir. More blood over here. On the poker? Yeah. 
What happened? Oh, well, that's... that's how it happened, didn't it? Oh, I was... I was poking the coals, and it slipped a bit. Sliced up in my foot like a seashell. Looked like a shit ugly thing. If you're gonna say Bruh. that, then out with it. Wait a second. Wait, you dropped it on your foot? You told me before that you cut your hand. Yeah, no, I, I did cut my hand. I cut my hand first, and that made me drop the damn thing on my foot. <laughs> uh, ruinous flip of events, really. <sighs> sure, buddy. Sure. Oh my god, will you not make a big faff out of this? There's nothing to solve here, Sheriff. I'm telling you everything that happened. Why don't you believe me? Because you're hiding shit from me! I mean, things happen, you know. I think maybe you're hiding something. Hiding something? Maybe. But, uh, to tell you the truth, I don't know yet. But I know you're lying about something. But I'm not- you're just gonna make it worse for yourself the longer you keep up the act. I'm not bullshitting you. Honest. We'll uh -huh. see. Let's see. What have we here? What is it now? If it's blood, you know what happened. I no, there's marks here on the window sill. And what's that about? No real reason. Just last night when I'd come out, I was in a, a downright dizzy, mate, as you would be. <laughs> I plum forgot the keys to this place. And I had to climb in through the bloody window. Really? Scared Junior off to death. Hmm. Hey. You heard uh, the new uh, Shaken Stevens album yet? Who? Bloody hell, Bigby. What sinister bit have you uncovered this time? I left the tap water running, didn't stop the recycling. What's the point of all this, mate? Really? But you wouldn't need keys since the lock's broken, so why'd you climb in through the window? Huh? Why'd you climb in through the window? You said it yourself. The lock's been rotten for weeks. Exactly. You wouldn't have needed a key to get in. Fucking hell. Just what are you on about, mate? After the state I was in, I didn't have me head, that's all it was. I forgot a fucking handle was fucking busted. And I'll tell you what else. It's embarrassing. You bringing all this shit up, all right? So quit it with a third degree and all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There's a mark over here, too. What do you mean? There's a clean space in the dust over here. Oh, maybe one of Junior's toys or something? I mean, who knows? Huh. That broken lamp used to be here, right? Just tell me what happened. Nothing happened, mate. Nothing! And why did the lamp have to be there? Of all the blooming pointless inquiries. It's my own place. Oh. Don't you think I know what happened to me? Because the lamp was always over here, Toad. It was over here. Now it's there. The space in the dust is from where you well, moved I it. did some refiguring. Who fucking cares? Bloody hell, mate. Come on, get off with this. Bigby, come on. I'm begging for mercy over here, old boy. I was looking forward to a nice afternoon. Just me and me son, and you've taken up enough of a day with all this... the sniffing around at me private belongings. I'm sorry I called. Really, I am. But will you please, please just bugger off? Not yet. Not yet, you say, to my face. And you think I'm hiding something from you? Well, you've had to go out of the room for a fair bit of time now. Nothing's here. So when? When are you gonna leave? I mean, I feel like I'm on trial here. In my own bloody home. When? When you start telling me the truth, Toad. Exactly! I told you the truth, mate. Jesus Christ, what more do you want? Toad? These stories have made no sense. I caught you in you three lies. 
You didn't forget your keys. You didn't bump the lamp off the table. You want to tell me what's going on? She doesn't think much of me, I don't think. Oh, I wouldn't necessarily say that. Progress? Uh -huh. Mr. Toad, you're bleeding. Take off the hat. Ooh. It was that butcher, a, a Tweedle, Dumb or D. You gotta strip them down to their Johnnies before you can tell which is which. <laughs> we come bulging in. You can't tell by the dick size? Huh? I don't know. He tore up the place, beat me up when I said I didn't have it. And if you had come in when I asked you to, maybe he wouldn't have had the nerve to strong arm me boy. He hurt Toad Jr. How awful. What the hell does he care? It's always the same with you, isn't it, Big B? If I'm in trouble, need help, if I call about something, you always take live long day to get here. What if he done something worse, eh? I'm tired of feeling trivial, mate. A lot of us are. We're sorry, TJ. Really. We were lucky it didn't go any further. You know where the Tweedle went? He mentioned something about Prince Lawrence's. I don't know if he'd already been there, was going there, but... He said something about it. I would have told you. I wanted to, really, I did. But he said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I even tried to give the bastard his coat. He wouldn't take his coat. No. Dad borrows things from people who live here. Uh, sometimes. Borrows? I don't steal nothing. Turn around here would astonish you, mate. You will merely repossess what's been left behind. Uh huh. You well, steal. We'll be taking the coat now. You steal if from your next of kin, family, anyone. All right. Fetch him the fur. Fine bit of dress it is. No, I wouldn't wear it outside. Wait. It's an envelope. Fucking hell, of course there is. Susanna! Hi! Welcome to the stream. We play Wolf Among Us. to Prince Lawrence. What do you want to do with it? Have a nice day! Don't make it a uh... dilemma. Doesn't seem right opening another man's mail. Let's try and give it to him. Okay. Yeah, since well, he's alive. A surprising day for all of us, I it? hope he's alive. But I'm afraid of dripping any more blood in the place. It was very nice talking to you, TJ. Thanks. Uh, see ya. And don't worry about what happened earlier. Just feel better, okay? And if you're looking for the woodsman, try down at the trip track. Love your energy, you're doing good. Hey, thank you. <laughs> Glad to say you say that. I'm happy. I'm happy if you can make you happy. And yeah, I'm doing good Does right now. And smoothly? static, uh, stop so farting. Split a cap. Sure. I can only go to the trip trap for now, anyway. Not because of what Toad said. Hopefully the woodsman's there. Or, I don't know. Someone who will know where to find him. It's my best lead. Our only lead, really. <clears throat> when you put it that way. Thank you! Yeah! Susanna! Thank you for the follow, and welcome to the Nebulabs! Ah, appreciate it, really. Jesus Christ, that's some GTA traffic. Every time I think I'm getting a handle on what's going on, things just get more complicated. It feels like we're always a step behind. The woodsman is the only lead we've got. Right, you're... Oh, you're right. I have gas, alive. leave me alone. <laughs> sure, buddy. Bring some answers out of him. We'll start to clear things One up. One follow-up. Wait, it's I true. Oh, my God. 
Be honest with me. Oh Did my god. <laughs> Did this. Wonder what that will happen. I know it's still early, but... I just feel a step behind. Faith was in trouble. Afraid of someone. I need to find out who might be whoever she was working for. There's still a lot of questions. Mm -hmm. Find the woodsman, figure out what he knows, and go from there. Makes sense. That's probably the best approach. How long have you been a VTuber, Thor? Um, I had my debut on March. March this year. And then there were uh, a little bit of hiatuses. <sighs> uh, Thanks I for wish you. there was... Ship, 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 ship. Go ahead. I didn't mean to cut you off. No, it's... Static! Yeah, and ever since I brought the soundboard into it, I'm getting haunted by this fucking music! Uh, yes, yes, sagt er. Yes, he says. I'm the unbelievable. I'm glad to know that you've gained quite a great amount of audience. Mm. Thank you. I'm happy you say that. You, I appreciate it very, 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 very much. No, really, I do. Mwah. It's nothing. I just... Seeing all this today, there are fables that are struggling worse than I'd imagined. We pay so much attention to the residents of the Woodlands. You forget there's a whole community out there to serve. To have to turn to prostitution. I, I wish there was more we could do. This isn't how I thought it would be. But Crane runs things his own way. Then you should do something about it. You it was kind of spooky. Um. Obviously, you don't know what I do with it. Um. Right now, I'm the gatekeeper, making sure none of these disenfranchised folks are, as he puts it. Wasting his time. I wouldn't you say You'll figure out spooky. Way. I know something way spookier, actually. Um, just hold on for a sec until I. <laughs> <laughs> there is something more scary than this Resident Evil Basement And that will be the original of this music This is way more frightening than whatever clown music they came afterwards. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> but then again, people have different perspectives when it comes to spookiness and everything. So, yeah, I will not judge in any kind.
feel like I'm being chased by spirits of pirates. Um. Huh. That is another way to interpret it. Hey. Hey, I keep that in mind. Well, music is versatile. <laughs> Great imagination. Static! Shame on you. I don't know. It's just a broken system. The fables who walk in through the back door like Bluebeard, we have all the time in the world for them. You try and come in through the front door, through the proper channels, asking for anything, needing help. Well, I turn you away. <laughs> you laughing. Yeah, you Nothing's laughing. Worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Maybe this isn't for me. I thought public service was pure. A way to help. You'll figure it out. You're better than I am with this political stuff. <laughs> well, that's not saying much. I trust you to make the right decision. I hope you're right. Now you can do it, girl. It's a bit resembled to the musical themes played in Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, maybe you should handle this. Maybe thing. I should take another listen to the soundtrack then. Hmm. Maybe I should. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep that in mind. Big B. I... Just be careful. Please. Don't worry. This will be over soon. I hope so. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get into the bar. Let's raise the bar. Hi. Is there any chance I could add you at Discord? Kind of love your energy and would love to get notified every time you stream. Um. I mean, I do have Discord. What do you want, Sheriff? And I also have a Twitter oh, that you can follow. Go again. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. So I guess you can go now. Look, I'm not even gonna ask where he is now, okay? I just wanna know the last time he was here. That's all. Who? I mean, by that you time, know. I think I can start uh, thinking about a he Discord channel. A few weeks. How about that? An old server, I mean. No. I can maybe. do both. I'm mostly active at Discord, but, though. Yeah, ah, I see. Okay. That explains. All, which, well, I don't know. Does he tell you when to close, too? Nope. And he doesn't tell me when to tell you to fuck off. Mmm. I mean, yeah, I, I think it's at, at the time I... Come on, have you seen the woodsman around? I don't know who that is. Big guy, beard, flannel, kind of <laughs> shitbag. Hard to miss. Uh, that I think about a Discord server on my own. Follow you on Twitter. Hey, thank you. Don't lie to me. It'd be bad for everybody. Call me a liar, and it'll be bad for you. But I look into that, definitely. Whose is that? Someone who left. Why didn't you dump it? If you want a cleaner place, Feel free to get the fuck out of here. 
Okay, buddy. I'm sensing a very I'm... hostile tone from you. <laughs> Don't deny it. I'm good at picking up on this stuff. <sighs> a lot of these walk out the door? Yeah, it's called advertising. <laughs> you get a refund? Fuck you. A word's getting out. <clears throat> Okay, no need to be rude. That's my guy. I don't know who you're talking about. The one with the bald head and the beard. Never seen him. Woman! <sighs> all right, all right. <laughs> Let me solve the mystery for you. They're pickled eggs. Oh, I know what they are. I'm just trying to figure out why anyone would eat this. Have you ever tried pickled eggs before? Now that I, th now that I think about it. I only know pickles. <laughs> Damn. But not pickled eggs. So I kind of wonder. A lot of stools in this place. If I sit over there, I'm gonna have to yell to talk to you. And I don't like raising my voice. Unless I really have to. Relatable, it really hurts the throat. You gonna order something? Or are you just here to bother my customers? You know what I mean. Give me a Midas gold. You want a wine? No. Well, I don't got any anyway. <laughs> think that's funny? Yep. Think it's fucking hilarious. It well, ha ha ha. <sighs> Come on, guys. I don't want to be here. You don't want me here. The sooner you answer my questions, the sooner I'll be out of here. Exactly. Well... You're out of paper towels and the... Gotcha. Now, be a good boy, sit down, and let's chat. Saved your beer for you. Holly wanted to clear it, but uh, I said no. You'll be back. Now, here you are. You and me have been going at it for hundreds of years. I'm through fighting. Uh-huh. Well, Woody, that makes two of us. <laughs> You're in luck. I decided to switch seats. Buddy? Just want to talk. This doesn't have to go like this. Maybe he don't want to talk to you. Why don't we let him tell me that? Exactly. Okay, Gren. Yeah, it's okay, Gren. No, fuck off, man. What are you, his mom? It's funny. Just a minute ago, no one seemed to know who you were. Yeah, well, everyone knows you. Big bad wolf. <laughs> now I'm the bad guy and you're a sheriff. What kind of fucking world is that, huh? Come on, Woody. You know why I'm here. You want to know what happened? Amongst other things, sure. 
Mm-hmm. Funny. Come clean. Shit you're willing to do for money. I'd walk past her place for weeks. She didn't look like it. She had money. I was sure of it. But she wouldn't put up any kind of fight. <laughs> I was gonna rob her. And the night I finally get up the nerve to do it, there you are, fucking things up for me. You were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I wasn't there to save her. So, you were planning on robbing her? Yeah, her and her grandma. Grandma? Wait, what are you talking about? Red Riding Hood, her grandmother. I was there to rob him. But when I showed up, you were already there. Lying in the bed. I well... I thought you might give me a reward. But she didn't what a twist! Except a bunch he was actually the bad guy! Something I ain't. I played along as long as I could. Only thing I managed to get from it was a free drink every now and again. <laughs> Not a good that did. Did you kill Faith? What? Faith? Who's that? The girl you were beaten on this morning. No, 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 no. I, I was here. I swear. It doesn't look good when a girl you were just smacking around shows up dead hours later. Exactly! She's dead? Big B, listen Yes! I'm a Cut her clat clean no, off! I hit that girl, I did. I, I shouldn't have, but I didn't kill her. You believe me, right? They're gonna string me up, Big B. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. He was here. That's the fucking truth, Sheriff. You see? Big B, please. You can't. They'll throw me down the witching well. That's what they'll do. And I didn't do it. You know that. Hey, stop. This isn't what I want. Oh, shut the fuck up, Woody. Shit ain't just about you. It's about this fucking lapdog. When they come sniffing around this part of town when the rich fucks in the woodlands need a shakedown. Ain't that right, Bigby? Lapdog? Really? <laughs> Holly's sister goes missing. No one gives two shits about her. Paperwork, waiting rooms, and that bitch Snow White looking right past me, oh. then ushering me out the fucking door. I wouldn't call her that. It's happened before, and it doesn't end well. I didn't realize you were the bitch of the bitch. Oh, brother. Oh, good. Hi, Grendel! Got her here when you had the chance. Come on, you're scaring the lady. Don't worry about me. And you're a troll! Because Ragdoll is also a cat breed. <laughs> oh, buddy. Now shit go shit's going down. <laughs> Want some more? <laughs> Ow! 
Oh, I felt that. Get on the Grendel's back! And down your throat! He's had enough. Get out. <laughs> Whiskey. Double. Why not the full bottle? When we're when we're already at it. Submit a damage report with my office. Fabletown will pay for this. Charge the drink on there, too. And the glass. <laughs> You're welcome. Don't even think about it. Is this the type of treatment I can expect if I let you take me in? Well, sir. Hey, he started it. And I didn't hit her, so hit him. Oops, I misgendered. I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that can tell me something about a girl name. <laughs> Fuck. Well, 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 look who it is. He's innocent. No. But you are sus! Get over here, bitch! Fuck, man! That's not necessary! Shit. He's the one you want, not me! Your brother won't be saving you this time. Come on. You're under arrest. I told you I didn't do it. And you got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Well, that was fun. <laughs> Beating the shit out of him. Do anything stupid and I'll throw you down the witching well myself. Breakfast and lunch. Ooh, it sounds like a good deal. Glass slipper shoes. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> Beats gets um getting hold held up and only and I'm just nah fuck this, I get in. Imagine how hard that it is back then to wait to uh, chapter two. Episode two, I mean. Where's your brother? Fuck you. Give me one good reason I should tell you anything. 
Um, hold on, hold on. Where's the rest of her? Serial killer. Oh, oh my. A serial killer? Oh God, and it's one of us. Wait, the watchman's still walking the street. Actually, <laughs> I'm putting this, this one here right now because censor. Because I need to censor it. And I need to censor something. So I'm putting this beautiful gif here. This is now the censor lion. <laughs> We've got to put a lid on this. If you can't manage it, I'll find someone who can. I found out where she's been staying. I know she's here. You must have seen her. What are the two of you hiding? Thanks. Someone. We can arrange that. <laughs> what did you do? I just had to do this because censor. The there were boobies. Jesus Christ, baby. Is that you? I love this game so much. You give Faith your money. Yeah, the majority did this. Did you tell Beast the truth about beauty? You and 95... 90.5% of players tried to stay out of it. Yep. That I did. When did you decide to go first? You and 38... 30.8% of players went to see Prince Lawrence before helping Toad. Yeah. The majority went to Toad first. And like I said, I wanted to know what happens if you go down a route. What happened to Prince Lawrence? You prevented Prince Lawrence's death. So yeah, he's alive now! Woo! Nice! Who's your prime suspect? 2 and 22.6% of players pointed their finger at face pimp. And who did you arrest? Yeah, the majority went for Tweedledee. That mother of a twiddle day. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good game. This is a very good game. I'm very happy that, I'm, that I can play this. Because, my God. And I can't wait for season two to finally be released. Oh my god! Yes, please give it, give me the good stuff. Now I do wonder: Do I want to play the next, uh, next episode? Or call it a day. Hmm. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Do 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 do. I wonder. I wonder. I wonder. Ha! <laughs> oh my God! I can't see you. Holly's troll form here in this photo. Nice. Well, yeah, I think this is a good stopping point. But uh, first, I want to read through the files that you get after playing uh, episode one, like I said at the beginning. Because these are some very interesting reads and also gives a lot of insight into the lore of, of the story, of the characters especially. Uh, that will be the Book of Fables.
starting off with Bigby Wolf, the Fable Town Sheriff. The renowned Big Bad Wolf. He is known to tormenting pigs and girls in Red Hoods, but is trying to put those dark days behind him. Bigby now acts as Fable Town's sheriff and remains in his human form, mostly. <laughs> However, due to his rough past, the citizens of Fable Town are slow to trust him. Bigby is determined to, s to show that he's truly changed, but some instincts are too hard to control. Well, no shit. Snow White, assistant to the deputy mayor. Snow White may seem cold, but this stemmed from her life of mistreatment and abuse back in the homelands. After escaping assault and imprisonment, not to mention an attempt on her life, she married Prince Charming. Yeah, the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. It wasn't long before Snow discovered that Charming cheated on her with her estranged sister, Rose Red, and she divorced him. After the exodus, Snow focused her attention on setting up a safe haven for fables in the new world. She now serves as assistant to the deputy mayor of Fable Town. Yeah, so they kind of did a mix with her character between uh, Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, as well as the stories of the two sisters, Snow White and uh, Red Rose. There are actually uh, two um, fairy tales that has a Snow White. Um, <sighs> Even though I do not uh, remember anymore what the story of uh, Snow White and Rose Red, uh, how this went on of again, I just know that they, these two were sisters. Maybe that's a good point, um, good opportunity to uh, look this up again. Okay, the Woodsman, Fallen Hero. The Woodsman is one of the few men who went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Bigby in his Black Forest days and lived to tell the tale. In an attempt to save Little Red Riding Hood, he split the Great Wolf's belly open with his axe, filled him full of rocks and threw the beast into a river. To his dismay, his popularity has faded. Even his name is forgotten and he's only known as the Woodsman. Yeah, nobody knows his name. They all call him either Woodsman or Woody. That's sad. Faith, donkey skin girl. Faith, otherwise known as the donkey skin girl, made it through the exodus from the magical homelands with the clothes on her back her husband and nothing else. She was once a beautiful princess, happily married to Prince Lawrence of a neighboring kingdom. Her life should have had a happy ending, but the mundane city of New York wasn't kind to her, or her marriage. With no money, Faith found herself turning tricks to make the rent for a cheap apartment on the outskirts of Fabletown. She had a difficult life, but she did what she could to survive in an unfamiliar world. And now she's fucking dead! Woo! Awesome! Man. Beauty, the caring wife. Beauty and her husband, Beast, once lived in an enchanted castle, but they were forced to flee the homelands in the Exodus, leaving all, on their, all of their wealth behind. Now they live in a modest studio in Fabletown, New York. Uh, though times are hard, with Beast working multiple jobs to pay the bills, the couple have the longest lasting relationship of all the fables. Beast, the concerned husband. Beast and his wife, Beauty, left everything behind when they escaped the homelands in the Exodus. Without his former wealth, Beast must pick up extra work to make ends meet. He is able to get around Fabletown without a glamour most of the time. But if Beast gets too angry th with him, he becomes more beastly by the minute, growing horns and large teeth. Uh, despite the occasional bickering, the two are truly in love and have the longest lasting relationship of anyone in Fable Town. Yeah. Let's um let's put let's not think about the fact that the entire relationship is based on Stockholm syndrome. <laughs> Mr. Toad, the slumlord. Mr. Toad is the superintendent for a defunct tenement 
on the edge of Fabletown proper. Because he is a three and a half foot talking amphibian, Todd is required by Fabletown law to keep his family and himself magically glamoured to appear human. The problem is Toad isn't too concerned with what the law is and has to be reminded often. Yep, yep, yep. He's an asshole. <laughs> what is this portrait of Colin? <laughs> hey, Jack, draw me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> Draw me on like one of your French pigs! <laughs> oh, fucking smoking bacon! The couch surfer! Wow, fitting. Colin is better known as one of the three little pigs. Um, back in the homelands, they were harassed by the big bad wolf who blew down Colin's house of straw. After the exodus, Colin and the other fables who couldn't pass for a human were sent to live at the farm in upstate New York. Unable to stand such a boring life, Colin constantly makes trips down to Fabletown to bother Bigby. He's always caught and sent back to the farm, but he doesn't let that stop him. Yeah. Ichabod Crane! That mofo! Deputy Mayor of Fabletown. Hailing from the haunted town of Sleepy Hollow, Ichabod Crane has been Deputy Mayor of Fabletown for nearly 115 years. Crane is a bundle of nerves and takes his job very seriously, though that doesn't mean he always does it well. As one of Fabletown's elite, Crane is often blind to the trouble of the less well-off citizens. Overall, Crane is authori authoritarian, cowardly and always hiding something. Did he just pick something out of his arm and then ate it? He did, oh my god. Buffkin! <sighs> the Fabletown Librarian. Buffkin is the talking winged monkey from the land of Oz. Now as Fabletown's librarian, he spends his time reading and stealing the deputy mayor's booze. He's prone to mischief, so when something goes wrong, he assumes he'll receive the lion's share of the blame. He's helpful when he wants to be, but most of the time he'd rather be drinking. Someone would have fired him a long time ago, but he is the only one who can make sense of the filling system. Or the filing system, sorry. Filing. Filing. Fabletown. The home of the Fables. Fabletown is a community located on Bullfinch Street in Manhattan's Upper West Side. To regular people, or Mondays, it appears to be an ordinary New York neighborhood, but it, re it is really the home of fables from many worlds and within the business office at the Woodlands lies a massive cavern, a vast library, library and hundreds of magical items of immense power. All non-human fables live upstate on the farm, an extension of Fabletown. Mm -hmm. Here it is! The Farm, Fabletown Annex. The farm is home to fables who cannot pass as human. Giants, goblins, animals, etc. It is located in upstate New York, far enough away from the Mondays to avoid detection. Some of its residents resent their confinement to the farm, despite its size and comforts. To them, the farm is a prison. They would be allowed to leave the farm if they could purchase, purchase a glamour, but many don't have the money for something so expensive. No some, like Colin, sneak out into the city anyway. Because they give a shit. The Mundies, non-fables. Short for mundane, Mundy is a catch-all term that fables use to refer to the non-magical inhabitants of their adopted home. Warning spells placed around the blocks of Fable Town and the farm keep their mind distracted and dull within certain boundaries. However, if anything should pique the curiosity of scrutiny of a large group of Mondays, these magical protection charms would overlord and fail. As Sheriff of Fabletown, one of Bigby's primary functions is ensuring the Fabletown community maintains a low profile. Glamours, Disguise Spell Glamours are spells that allow the user to change their appearance. They are expensive, but can be purchased by non-human fables in order to pass for human among the Mondays. 
Sheep glamours can be found in the seedier parts of Fable Town, but they are often unreliable and prone to sudden failure. Ah, there he is, Prince Lawrence, Faith's husband. After escaping the homelands, Prince Lawrence and his wife Faith immediately fell victim to the harsh realities of the mundane world. They moved to New York, hoping to find aid in a community of fellow Fables. But without enough money to live in Fabletown, they had to settle in an apartment on the outskirts of the neighborhood. Unfortunately, that meant they were out of sight and out of mind when it came to governance assistance. Their prospects dwindling, Faith left Lawrence to try to make it on her own. Now without his wife for support, Lawrence struggles to motivate himself and quickly sinks into depression. Yeah, which almost made him do the unthinkable. But I saved him! Whoop whoop! The Tweedles, hired goons. The Tweedle brothers, Dumb and D, are thugs for hire. They appear human, allowing him them to carry out their contracts in a money world without drawing suspicion. They are as inseparable as they are ruthless. And they are assholes! Holly, the trip trap owner. Holly is a non no nonsense kind of troll and the owner of the trip trap bar. She's glamoured to appear human, but her patrons know better. Holly takes good care of her regulars, often the downtrodden fables with little to spare, but she had no patience for the Fable Town government that has done nothing to locate her missing sister. Grendel, the drifter. Grendel just wants to be left alone. In the old days, he terrorized Norse meat hells, but lately he can be found occupying a stool in various quiet dumpy bars around New York. He hates the noise of the city, but must work there to afford his glamour. Despite his gruff bearing, he's fiercely loyal to those who've learned to offer him the space and silence he desires. Talking to him is like watching a time bomb tick down. It's only a matter of time. And uh, he stems from the legend of Beowulf. Is this already... Yeah, it is. Bluebeard. Wealthy scoundrel. Um, he was just mentioned so pretty much in the beginning after the intro, but we're gonna see him in fully in episode two. Uh, Bluebeard managed to escape the homelands with his riches intact and continues to be one of the wealthiest fables in New York. The Fable Town government depends on his generous contributions, and he often uses his influence for his own benefit. As a former serial killer, he claims his days of decapitating his brides are over. But even if he was able to leave his violent ways in the homelands, that hasn't stopped him from making the occasional trip down Crooked Lane. Yeah, the story of Bluebeard. I actually remember that I, as a kid, I had a very giant fa fairy tale book with lots of fairy tale stories in it. And Bluebeard is one of them. Um, it follows the story of um, his latest bride, who um, found found out his murderous scheme, and she would have been the next, but she was rescued by her two brothers. Bigby's mercy. In the days leading up to the exodus, the Big Bad Wolf hunted armies of men and goblins in the Black Forest. These invading forces had driven off the great beast's preferred quarry, and their own flesh was rotten with corruption, hardly a suitable replacement. He made it his game to destroy their camps, devour their night watchmen, and disrupt their supply trains while sparing their prisoners. One day, he broke their ranks and discovered a particular woman they held captive. Her skin was white as snow, but her hair was as dark as the night sky. He approached her, and she, knowing no sword could match the giant wolf's power, bravely placed her shackles in the beast's mouth. He freed her, but years would pass before the two met again in the Monday world. Ah. Well, that explains how he and Snow have such a close relationship. Huh? 
If you catch my drift. Okay, and these were all the things that uh, I could collect. <sighs> Overall, awesome game. Very, very awesome. Now, uh, I think I'm gonna call it a day for, for now. There's nothing much I can do now, I think. So, uh, I might as well. So yeah, thank you very much for stopping by, has been a pleasure to serve you as um, the potential moron that keeps you busy <laughs> for the day, the night, whatever. And wherever you are in this vast world, have a good day, good evening, good morning, good night, whatsoever. And yeah, I catch you next time. Don't know when that will be, but pretty soon, I might say. All right, thank you. Goodbye. God damn it, can you stop? Goodbye. Bye now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Whatever. Bye.